I'm willing to bet there are Mac apps in this video that you haven't heard of, and I'm also willing to bet that you'll probably find these apps extremely useful. What is going on guys? My name is Taryn and the first useful app I wanna showcase in this video is actually today's video sponsor, Text Sniper. It essentially enables you to capture non-selectable text in PDFs, YouTube videos, PowerPoints, you name it. It is extremely easy to use. All you have to do is press Command Shift 2, highlight the area that you wanna capture the text from, and then it will save into your clipboard, which you can then paste into your notes application, Microsoft Word, whatever app you're using. Click the link in the description down below to download Tech Sniper today. It's only $6.99. And if you use my coupon code Terran10, you can get 10% off. But anyways, thank you Tech Sniper for sponsoring today's video. This next app is totally free and it declutters and organizes our messy menu bar on Mac OS and it's called Hidden Bar. It is an extremely simple app and all it does is hide your menu bar icons in Mac OS for a cleaner look. All you need to do is drag the icons that you wanna hide across the divider and then anytime you wanna hide these icons, you just press the arrow and then anytime you wanna show these icons when you need access to them again, you just press that same arrow again and it's, it's as easy as that. This next app I wanna share is extremely useful in the most subtle way and it's called WeatherDoc. It's a totally free app again, which is awesome. And all it does is show you the weather in a tiny animating icon on your dock. So no longer do you have to Google search or open your phone or open up a weather app to check the weather. You just glance down at your dock and it tells you the weather right there. If you do need more information, you just press into the icon and it'll give you more details about the weather forecast for the week. This next app again is totally free and it solves a problem that we all have when it comes up, but we refuse to acknowledge it and find a way to solve it. But thankfully today, I'm gonna to be giving you that solution with an app called Copy Clipper. Copy Clip, Copy Clipper, Copy Clip. Copy clip. <laughs> the app just lives on your menu bar and all it does is save all of the copy and cuts that you've done in the past and that way you have access to them on a moment's notice. So never again will you copy text and then copy something else and then completely forget the one thing you just copied five minutes ago. It's gonna be saved right in Copy Clip. You can take this application a step further and customize the preferences. You can set the amount of clippings it will save at any one time, as well as the amount it will show you on a moment's notice from clicking on the menu bar. Also, you can set exceptions and blacklist certain applications you don't want Copy Clip to save data from. I'd totally recommend you block it from saving data from your password managers, because the last thing you need is your secure passwords saving onto this like open source application. The last app I'm going to talk about today does cost some money, but it is totally worth it to all the power users watching this video, and it's called iStats Menu 6. It literally gives you every tiny detail and statistic that you need to know about your Mac operating system on a moment's notice. It gives you detailed CPU usage, it gives you memory statistics such as swap memory usage and memory pressure. This application lives in the menu bar, potentially hidden if you downloaded Hidden Bar earlier, which was mentioned in this video, and you can fully customize it as well as your heart desires, all the way down to the color of the statistics. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. So how did I do? Were there apps in here that you haven't heard of that you found useful? Drop a comment down below if I did. Comment hashtag Mac apps if you finished the video. Drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. We have more MacBook videos on the way. But anyways, I'll catch all of you guys in a future video later this week. Stay safe and we'll talk soon. Peace.